You know, when Jesus said, we can't, in, in Matthew 6, we can't serve God and money. I've often thought about that, that um, God is not against money. And so he's not saying it for that reason. We know that from the breadth of what scripture teaches about things and possessions and prosperity and money. But we can't serve God and money. And I think one of the things that Jesus is saying to us is that money can be a distraction. Money can be a diversion, an attention stealer from our true callings. And when I was working in the corporate world for years before I came full time in ministry, and then of course after I got into ministry and was speaking into and helping a lot of people that were building a career in the corporate business world, I, I realized that I myself at different times um, was tempted to make a decision that would involve rooting my family, relocating somewhere in the country or the world for the sake of money. Um, and if that offer comes to you at a time when money really matters to you, when you're short of money and your lifestyle could be greatly enhanced by, by that extra money, then we can make decisions based on money rather than based on our calling and our calling may have been better served by staying where we are, um, by staying in the church where we are, in the relationships where we are, by keeping our family rooted in the situation where we are, because we're flourishing and doing well as people, but we're just a bit short of money. That's why I think when Jesus said you can't serve God and money, I think one of the ways that that becomes real for us is this issue. And so I would often counsel people in business that were considering taking a promotion that moved them away from the church or out of the country or the neighborhood where they were doing so well. Um, and I have nothing against that, by the way, at all. But I felt at times my best contribution was to say to them, you know what, make sure this isn't just about a, a, a better a better package from work with more money and more benefits or a bigger car or a bigger title. Um, or more kudos that feeds your ego. Make sure this isn't about that in a way that is disproportionate to the other things that are going to be affected by you making this decision. And I think that you can't serve God and money is what was on my mind when I said that to them and when I said that to myself years earlier in my scenario. Um, I wonder today where you are perhaps about to make a decision or know someone that's making the decision based on the service of money and things um, and not aware that that is going to dilute and compromise and distract them from service to and followership of uh, their calling, which will be better served by not taking uh, the financial bait, as it were, and serving money. Um, and I just think it's something we all have to work out. It doesn't make any of us a good or a bad person. This isn't about that. It's about figuring out the something that Jesus knew about what money and things and the pursuit of that, what in that kind of world can do to us, that, that means that we stop serving God with the same level of diligence and intentionality and commitment and love and passion it means that that potentially gets compromised and diluted for a season, which could be years of our life, until we eventually realize that we made decisions for money and we wish we hadn't done that. And I'm saying to you, rather than wish you hadn't done that, maybe this little talk to you can give you a heads up to not have to reinvent the wheel and live with the regret of chasing money, especially if right now it's hurting and you need money and your family would be so much better in a lifestyle because of money and if and that's okay if that's the wisdom of the decision that's absolutely fine this isn't about saying that's a wrong thing to do it's about saying make sure that 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 isn't the primary reason and you've not taken into account how this affects your flourishing and your progress in your calling in the main thing that you're on the planet to do that staying where you are may serve that better than chasing the money that will jar you out of hijack you away from as it were this place that you're in this sweet spot that your calling is flourishing because of that that money is kind of tempting you away from 
We can't serve God our money. I think we've got to figure that out all of us in life at some point.